Here's why this housing downturn is nothing like the last one. You see, that's the title of a fantastic article I came across recently. And what it begins to speak about is the fundamental difference between our housing market today and what it looked like back in 2008. And while interest rates have really strongly increased this year, there's a lot of data to support how our housing market is so much better today than it was in 2008. And this has been driven almost exclusively by the lending requirements that changed post the meltdown. By example, out of the 53.5 million first mortgage loans on individual homes throughout America, the average credit score today is 751. Now in 2010, two years after the last downturn, the credit score was still on average as low as 699. Combine that with the fact that there's not as many risky loans outstanding as there was back then. See, check this out. Today, there's about 2.5 million outstanding adjustable rate mortgage mortgages, which is about 8% of the overall mortgage volume. Compare that to 2007, when there was 13.1 million mortgages outstanding that were adjustable rates, which represented about 36% of the total mortgage debt outstanding. And combine that with the fact that today's adjustable rate mortgages were underwritten under a much more restrictive guideline than what was provided in the past. And today, out of those 2.5 million adjustable rate mortgages, about 1.4 of them are about to face an interest rate reset. So given the higher interest rates, their payment's gonna go up. So sure, that poses some risk, but this is unquestionably a drop in the bucket in comparison to 2007, where there were 10 million adjustable rate mortgages that faced an interest rate reset and a payment increase. This is what drove many homeowners to decide to sell their home, flooding the market with inventory. We're not in that situation today. The majority of our homeowners, by far 92% percent of them have low fixed rate mortgages on payments they continue to afford. As we know, home prices have soared recently, giving homeowners today more equity than they've ever had. The so-called, quote, tappable equity, which ultimately means a homeowner can withdraw cash from their home and still have 20% equity, has soared to a record high $11.1 trillion nationwide. This is a 34% increase from just one year ago. So overall, the total mortgage debt in proportion to the home Home's value is now at a record low across the United States at less than 43%. And negative equity, which means the homeowner owns more than the home is worth, is virtually non-existent now. And comparing that to 2011, when more than one out of every four homeowners owed more than what their home was worth. So in 2008, it was a perfect storm. We had mortgages that were written under lax guidelines that all of a sudden begun to not be available anymore. Couple that with the fact that we had tons of inventory on the market, along with new inventory flooding the market as a bunch of homeowners were not able to afford their interest rate and payment anymore. That's not the situation we're in today. Today, we have over 92% of homeowners on low 30-year fixed rate mortgages underwritten under the most restrictive guidelines we've ever seen. We're nowhere near a level of a real estate collapse.